when I first got Johan's case, I was like, this boy is hardcore. I felt really powerful and I started uh, slashing me again at the back of his skull. And I wanted to slash each and every one. Masa dia lagi kecil, dia okey lah orang dia dengar cakap semua baik. Bila dia dah start membesar, membesar, perangai dia berubah. When I actually met him in person, I actually realised that Johan was a very articulate youth. He's intelligent, um, he's polite, he's thoughtful. actually taking up the role of the man of a household, I realised that he struggled with many different responsibilities as a student, as a son, and also as a provisioner, of course. Hostel stay brings about, uh, I think, a disciplined lifestyle. For him, it developed a, a sense of purpose also. I, I used to blame everything else except myself. Oh, I'm here because like my parents. I'm here because, hey, my brothers. I'm here because, hey, my friends are doing this. It made me realise that it wasn't them, it's me. And that was a hard thing to swallow. Masa pergi doktor tu, bila dah dapat tahu, doktor mengatakan Encik ada tumbuhan. I was really in a state of shock. That's why I called Nick. I want to change, but I'm not sure how. And he shared that there are a few things that you have to give up. Lah. And it's not going to be easier. This boy deserves to be guided through and make sure that he achieves what he wanted to do. Tengah duduk dengan dia berbuah, tengok perangai dia dah berubah. Cakap, ingat tak dulu macam mana? Dia kata itu dulu. Sekarang dah okey. Tapi cakap, sayang ibu tak? Sayang. Sampai sekarang, Alhamdulillah.